Ruben, first of all, um, I, I think the not supporters are just very, very happy that after deadline day you're you're still here. Um, Luke Williams joked that he, he had locked you hmm. in his office and wasn't going to let you out. So, uh, but what was deadline day actually like? What was their interest? Was there talk? What was going on? Uh, to be fair, uh, we had trading and I went home and I had a nap, so I wasn't I wasn't really bothered. Uh, I think uh, the gaffer knew um, what I wanted to do. Uh, we've been. We had a conversation in the, in holiday, and uh, when I met the gaffer and Ryan, I just felt like a genuine interest from them, like in me, and they are so so nice, so different, um, and like I know the fans had speculation, and, and there've been talks, and after Halifax, I was at home and I saw the fans talking, and I was like, nothing of that is true because I I'm really happy at where I am. Uh, the fans love me. I love the fans. Uh, I love the new style of play. I'm appreciated. What is for me most important? I got confidence. Um, and yeah, I'm 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 in a really good place here. And I, yeah, I could tell the fans I wasn't going away like weeks before, but yeah, I, I can't do that. But yeah, now nah, I'm 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 happy where I am, and uh, I can't wait for the season. Yeah. I suppose some people would have asked the question because. They've seen Kyle Wilson go, Cal Roberts go, a change of manager as well. So much has changed uh, this summer, I suppose. So uh, were there question marks at times this summer from your point of view as to, to whether to stay or go? Uh, yeah, of course, because you are playing, you always want to, to play high. But if, you, if you're that, that appreciated in the club, you got to like, um, uh, how do you say it? Uh, you can't take it for granted. Like because imagine if I would make the move, and everything would change. I wouldn't play, or the fans would like show no interest, and I would be like in a in a tough place. And the thing is, I I I um I see what it is. Like uh, I know what it is when I don't have it. I know what it is when I do have it, and I I'm not taking it for granted. I'm I'm really enjoying my time here. So um so yeah, I uh, I'm just happy. Yeah. It's interesting you you said about um, sort of feeling loved at the club, and I, I wonder what it was that Luke Williams and, and Ryan have done since they've come in that that's convinced you pretty quickly that that you want to stay here. Yeah, what they've done is like um, uh, basically a new style of play, um, which which is it's always nice to have like new managers with new styles of play, so you uh, are more can do more and. Um, like I said, they just show me genuine interest and um, I'm just very happy that they are here. Uh, Ryan and me, we do a lot of work stuff now Now on finishing because I think I need to work on that. And he has been a top, top player and he, he is helping me with that. And the gaffer just showed me love from day one and I feel loved, yeah. Luke Williams was saying the other week um, on deadline day about how when, when an offer comes in for a player that... You just think is the you know the player wants to take that he's happy to to let them go in that sense and that's why he didn't want to stand in in Cal Roberts' way. Did it ever get to that stage for you? Did you talk to other clubs? Did you at any point have you considered that? Has it has it got that close before? Um, I don't think uh, it it came really close to be fair because uh, that is not my job. Like I have an agent and the club do their do their bits. And I, I like before the before the season starts, I just tell my agent like if it's something amazing or great, of course we're gonna sit down and listen because who am I, you know what I mean? But um, he didn't reach out to me, so that means like or nothing was interested or nothing was yeah good for me in the future. So I think this is I'm happy here, and I think this is will help me more in the future than what any other team would have brought me to do. Does it please you as well that you you have a manager there who who understands that and you know that he isn't going to stand in your way should that should that come up because he doesn't want unhappy players here clearly and he's ha he wants you to to achieve whatever you can achieve. Mm -hmm. When I was in the Netherlands for holiday, he rang me rang me on a Thursday before. I think we had a training on the next Thursday, so he rang me one week before and he he basically was just genuine with me. He said like, listen, Ruben, uh, if anything comes in, I'm not going to stand in your way because. It's your future. I've been there. Uh, I've had players, and um, he is he's more than happy for me to do that. But also, he like he said like, like he's got he he's gonna make me a better player. I think I've been 
uh, even though my stats aren't that good as last season, I think I've been a better player than I've been last season because I think I've been consistent this year. And um, I'm happy with my decision. And uh, yeah, I like uh, I like to play under him. And how pleased have you been with how the season started? At an unbeaten start to the season, um, both from a personal and a, and a team point of view. How happy are you with how it's gone so far? Really happy. I think uh, last season we were unbeaten the first seven as well. And then, of course, we had that spell of uh, three losses. So I think we now are still motivated enough to keep pushing, keep going. Uh, but this season has been also way more harder in training was because people don't see the behind of the scenes. And the behind of the scenes have been really hard. Like pre-season, we were doing two sessions a day when it was like 36 degrees and... Uh, we've been training a lot, a lot of, of a lot of times, and I think hard work pays off, and that's why we work hard, and it it makes working hard um, more enjoyable when it pays off and during the weekend. So um, we are in a happy place. I'm in a happy place, and we 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 keep the the momentum going. Hopefully. Yeah, I wonder how much you enjoy playing in a team with Macaulay Langstaff, who's scored yeah. so many goals this year. To have somebody in the team who just seems to finish off pretty much every chance he gets in, in that position. How much does that help you and the other players in when you're wanting to supply those chances? To be fair, it's, it, it, makes, it makes our job easier because the defenders are also like um, so focused on his runs in behind that they drop, which opens more space for me, a Jim, a Matty, Ed or, or Gerardo or Sam in midfield. And like last season, Every time I had the ball, I always felt like there was some someone there to stop me or to to try not like let me make me turn. And this season, I'm always like face forward, which I can then make a pass or create something. And it made it has made my job easier. Yeah, and I I, I don't know how he does, but he's always on the right place, and which makes uh, yeah everyone's job easier basically because he just scores also in important times of the matches, and uh, he's been a he's been a very important player for us this season already. Seems like you're enjoying yourself, Ruben. I am, yeah, of course, I'm happy, yeah. And just in, in playing, do you feel like you're really enjoying the football? When you talk about that, you know, the runs that McCall is making is freeing things up for you and the, the amount of goals you're scoring as well, you know, four the other week and five last weekend. That's That's got to be a fun environment mm -hmm. to play in, right? And uh, and we scored a lot of goals, but most of mostly what's most important, like we are dominating games. I think Solihull, we scored one, but... I think everyone's seen it like they said, oh, this is the best game we've seen like in lots of seasons. And then we played Dagenham and then they said it again. So I think what we're doing is we just, yeah, making, we're playing better every week, even though we are already playing really well. And um, there are still, there are still like Ryan is, the, the Gaffer and Ryan are still like um, unhappy with something. So that's how high the standards are this season. And um, I hope just, just many more good things, things to come. The thing is, it, it has to be at that level, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Because only one goes up automatically and you see Chesterfield and Wrexham who've yeah. strengthened again this summer. It has to remain that level mm -hmm. throughout the whole season. True, true. Now, the, we know, we know, we know the season is tough. I know the league now for the third season. So uh, I know how tough it is. And I, I try to, to tell the new players, like, listen, boys, it's not that easy. And uh, everyone is now like, ooh, ooh, we got a good chance. But I'm still trying to make them understand like listen boys it's it's a really tough league i know we've been doing well but everyone knows knows what we want everyone knows our job so yeah everyone is working hard yeah